okay good morning so i think i'm audible to everybody right so all right uh, so i hope uh, everybody doing well at your homes <coughs> do we are at the difficult times right now i hope uh, we will successfully come out of this in the coming days and uh, <clears throat> before uh, starting the class let me give some instructions you no need to <clears throat> chat in between our uh, posting the questions you just listen to the class i will be giving some time during that particular time you can post some questions or else it may unnecessarily disturb the class first i will be explaining the scheme of things then you can come up you can come up with some questions so uh, as we mentioned the topic containment models for uh, corona pandemic mm -hmm. and yesterday just to give a bit extra information to you i just searched some uh, information on internet and i came up with a pattern of things so before going into the models we will be discussing about the models in uh, the world along with some of the models even that followed even in india so before going into the models and all those things i want everybody to write some information so this is about uh, first how this uh, coronavirus uh, how this transmits so we have uh, stages of corona transmission so we have four stages you can take down them stage 1 stage 2 stage 3 stage 4 total four stages stage 1 as you know it means as everybody knows about coronavirus the corona pandemic the how it got spread it's not actually started within the country it came from outside so stage one indicates importing to that particular country from outside so this indicates stage one that means this particular infection will be imported from outside so the people who will be coming from outside these people will be affected first this is about stage one then comes stage 2 stage 2 means local transmission stage 1 importing the infection from outside stage 2 local transmission local transmission means the individuals who came from outside these individuals because they started interacting with the locals then the disease will be transmitting to the locals so this is what we call as stage 2 then third stage this is the most dangerous one because the third stage indicates community spread what we call the level 3 of the spread of the infection so under stage 3 the infection will be spreading to the community level suppose if i am the concerned individual i haven't roamed outside the world i haven't i haven't visited any of the uh, any places outside the world recently and i haven't been in touch with the person who visited abroad but still i will be affected the reason here is that because the spread of this infection is such a way that even those individuals who haven't visited any place outside and they haven't come across with the individuals who went outside but still these individuals will be infected so this is where the world is fighting right now so the world community as of now does not want that this level 3 of infection this the world community should not reach to level 3 even india to we are fighting so this fight this fight of uh, containing level 3 not reaching to stage number 3 the world community coming up with different models so in india we have we are we are following most the social distancing along with the testing screening and all those things and countries like korea taiwan singapore even in italy usa spain these countries are coming up with extensive testing along with social distancing so 
we doesn't want that this particular infection the pandemic you know the pandemic means it's more dangerous so we doesn't want that this pandemic should reach to stage 3 because once it reaches to stage 3 then uh, especially for a country like india with 1.3 billion population it's not such an easy way to contain it so with that reason we want to have a control over this pandemic to not reach to stage number 3 then we have the fourth stage fourth stage what we call it stage listen to this one very carefully endemic stage 4 means endemic e n d e m i c endemic means what once the infection comes to that particular region it stays there forever it becomes seasonal so every what we call this the, the reoccurrence reoccurrence again again and again so this is what we call as the stages of corona infection spread stage one stage two stage three stage four stage one importing from outside stage two local transmission stage three community spread stage four becoming endemic that means the infection stays forever so that is more dangerous so this is a some basic information about stages of corona transmission then let's come to so this this information you people need to take first so this is it contains certain data once you get this data then uh, i can explain i can give some analysis about it first let me give the world data this is the data i have taken uh, up till yesterday till yesterday what's the spread of the infection then i have taken this data till yesterday's night so first i will be explaining about uh, see epidemic see it's see epidemic means it's more dangerous one right see it, this is not epidemic this is endemic e n d e m i c endemic means fourth stage four okay so first take this information so i will be giving first the world information that means across the world different countries and to what extent these countries got infected with coronavirus then i will be explaining about uh, india see this is not about organization it's the according to the nature of the virus we will be coming up with uh, the names so according to the nature suppose for example it can be zika ebola according to the name suppose for example amoeba who gave this because the, we have the nomenclatures for that so we have what we call uh, uh, classifications right in the kingdom classification we will come up with these kind of names fine see first you take the information about the world so as you know started lately but reached the top stage in terms of spread of infections usa take the list of countries first one usa the number of people infected 7.5 lakh till now the number of deaths 40000 people infected 7.5 lakh yeah the number of deaths 40k 40000 as of now second one spain 1.96 lakh One point nine six lakh. The number of deaths twenty thousand. Italy one point seven eight lakh. Number of deaths twenty three thousand. Italy number of deaths one point seven eight lakh. And uh, sorry, number of uh, infections one point seven eight lakh. Number of deaths twenty three thousand. Germany. 1.44 lakhs infections and number of deaths 4500 united kingdom uk uk number of infections total confirmed cases infections means here total confirmed cases 1.2 lakh and the number of deaths as of now 16000 it marked the it crossed the 16000 mark France 
France 1.12 lakh, number of deaths 19,000, Turkey, Turkey 86,000 total people who got infected, 86,000 and the number of people who died as of now 2,000. So, and along with all this, if you see interestingly, this is the list of countries I have given in a sequential order according to the number of people who got affected. Interestingly, where uh, the actual spread started in China, to be specific in that Wuhan, Hubei province. There, as of now, the number of people who got infected, 82,000. This is the official figures as of now we got. And the number of people who died of this infection is 4,600. USA 7.5 lakh people who got infected. And the number of people died of this infection, 40,000. Fine. Then uh, let's see the figures of Japan. Why I'm giving these country names, you'll come to know later. Japan, the number of people who got infected, it just crossed 10,800. Japan, 10,800. Wuhan, death. Wuhan, if you take the whole China, 4,600. 4,600. Germany, number of deaths, 4,500. And South Korea, number of people who got infected, 10,600 and uh, sorry, I think I didn't mention about Japan number of deaths. Japan number of deaths 236, South Korea number of deaths 234. Yes, yes, that is right. Epidemic means uh, affecting more people. Epidemic later it will go to pandemic. Okay. So these are the figures. I think you got the, I think everybody got the list. Then let's come to the figures of India. If you take the figures of India, yesterday we crossed the 17,000 mark, the number of people who got affected. More than 17,000 Indian citizens got infected with the Corona pandemic. And the number of deaths, 500 we crossed. South Korea infections, 10,600. Uh, okay, Germany, Germany, number of people who got infected 1.44 lakh, 1 lakh 44,000 and number of deaths 4,500. Okay, so South Korea 10,600 infections and 234 deaths. So I think the world data you got right now, China, China 82,000 infections. 4600 deaths okay you're, you keep on asking repeat the same france 1.12 lakh see we just got one hour so in france number of infections 1.12 lakh and number of deaths 19000 19000 deaths turkey number of deaths 2000 turkey number of deaths 2000 so you got the whole data now, keep the data aside, then let's take the data of India. So India, just now I mentioned, yesterday we crossed the 17,000 mark. So the total number of infections, 17,000. Okay, I will be explaining what is this bio war and all. Let's see, let's see, wait, wait, wait. So we have, every day we'll be having class. All these aspects will be coming up. <clears throat> so, Let's come to the India first. That's what I told you. So first be 18 to take the data. Then all your questions can be answered. No need to worry. Number of deaths 500 women. So now you just take the state wise list. So just at least take some top five to six states. Top five to six states. So the leading state as of now, Maharashtra, number of infections, it crossed 3600 mark. India. India deaths crossed 500, 